Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to your second lesson in analytical geometry. Again, we're going to be doing something quite easy because we're just going to be revising the distance formula. Now, first of all, before you freak, remember that this is on your formula sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. But let me remind you how we get it. This is just Pythagoras. Let's say, for example, I have got, here's my y-axis and there's my x-axis and let's say I've got two points and we'll call this point 1 and we'll call that x1 y1 and we'll call this x2 y2 do you agree that this line here that line there is the horizontal component and that there is the vertical component and it makes a nice right angle triangle so therefore this length here that length there is going to be x2 minus x1 and this bit here is going to be y2 minus y1 but if we call x2 minus x1 a and we call y2 minus 1 b then to get this length here from x2 to x1 which we can call I don't know c do you agree that by Pythagoras we know that that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared by Pythagoras therefore c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared but a is what? It's x2 minus x1. So therefore c is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus, and what was b? b was y2 minus y1 all squared. So therefore this big formula here is just using Pythagoras, Pythagoras. But you will be given it on your formula sheet and that is the distance formula. So let's do an example using it. It says what is the distance between two points A which is minus 3 minus 1 and B at point 5 2. So let's just draw a very rough please guys if you are drawing you'll be using rulers and pencils. So A is at minus 3 minus 1. So if we go minus 3 minus 1 that is A minus 3 minus 1 and B is at 5, 2, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, so B is going to be at 5, 2, and they want the length of this line, they want the length of that line. So we are told that the distance formula is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now again, it really doesn't matter which one we're going to call point 0.1 or point 0.2, but because a becomes before b, I'm just going to call this x1 and y1, and I'm going to call this x2, y2, just to be on the safe side. So now, let's substitute in. So it becomes the square root of x2, which is 5, minus x1 minus 3 squared plus y2 which is 2 minus minus 1 squared. Now grade 11s, I know you probably think I'm being pedantic putting all these brackets in but you have to be very careful because if you don't you might make a mistake and end up just with 5 minus 3 which is very different from 5 minus minus 3. Why? Because what happens to this? This becomes 5 minus times the minus is a plus 3 squared. So if you'd written 5 minus 3 you'd have just got 2 compared to 5 plus 3 which is going to be 8 plus 2 minus times the minus is a plus 1 all squared. So then that becomes the square root of 5 plus 3 is 8 squared plus 3 2 plus 1 is 3 squared 8 squared is 64 plus 3 squared which is 9 so this is the square root of 73 and you actually don't need to simplify that any further so that would be the distance between points A and B right let's look at another example it says 
This one says, what is x if the length of the line joining p minus 1, 3 and q x 1 is 2 root 2? And they want to know what is x. Okay, so let's just see what we've got here. We know that p is at minus 1, 3. So p is at minus 1, 3. And Q is any X, but Y is 1. Q is any X, but Y is 1. So I'm going to just assume that X is a positive number, just for my drawing. And I'm going to go, that's X, and that over there is 1. So I'm going to go Q, X, 1. Okay. And they tell me the length of this line is 2 root 2. And they want to know what x is. So let's look at our formula. We know that d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So if we look at this formula, do you agree? Let's just change color so I can highlight what we have and what we don't have. We've got d. That is the distance of 2 root 2. If we call this point 2, then do you agree that this would be x2 and this would be y2 and this would be x1 and this would be y1. So we don't have x2, that's what we're trying to find, but we do have x1, we do have y2 and we have y1. So therefore we can just substitute into this formula and we will find what x is. So again I'm just going to change colors because that orange or yellow is a bit difficult to see on the, against the screen and let's do the sum. So we go the d is the distance is 2 root 2 is equal to the square root of x minus minus 1 squared plus y2 which is 1 minus 3 squared all squared. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the square root. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to square both sides. I'm going to square both sides. So therefore this becomes 4 times 2 is x minus times the minus is a plus, so it's plus 1 all squared, plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 all squared. So 4 times 2 is 8 is equal to x plus 1 squared, okay, plus 4, therefore we've got that 8 minus 4 is equal to x plus 1 squared, therefore 4 is equal to x plus 1 squared. And now there are two ways you can do this, you can either multiply this out and get a trinomial or you can remember, you can square root both sides, but if you do that, you need to remember that the square root of a number is going to give you a plus or minus answer. So if I square root both of these sides, both of these, I'm going to end up with 2 equals x plus 1 or minus 2 equals x plus 1. Therefore, your 2, your x, is going to be 2 minus 1, so x is equal to 1, or I've got minus 2 minus 1 is equal to x, therefore x equals minus 3. So there are actually two places here where we would end up with the length of this, okay? And that's usually the case when you get something like this. The reason being grade 11s is that this is actually on a circle. This would be, for example, the center of your circle and this would be the radius. So if I drew a circle all the way around, okay, I'm very bad at drawing circles, but if I drew a circle all the way around, there would be two places where the y would be 1. The one is going to be over here where x is 1 and the other one is going to be over here when x is minus 3 and that is why we're getting two places where we have a distance of 2 root 2. And that grade 11 is basically the revision of your 
distance formula. So please, grade 11s, go practice, practice, practice. Make sure you understand because we're going to build on this in the next few lessons. Have a lovely day. Thank you.